Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the Shoreline Change Model Gen Kate version 1. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to produce the initial shoreline for Gen Kate. Because there is many ways to import shoreline data in Gen Kate, this tutorial is divided in two parts. First, let's look at how to import the shoreline data in Gen Kate using the CST file and then using an Esri shape file. The second part, we will look in producing shoreline from any scatter set and then go over the required pre-processing. First, let me show you what a shoreline in Jinkid should look like. Notice that it is a long, continuous line or arc. When I choose the Select Arc Feature tool and click on my shoreline, the entire length of the shoreline is highlighted. There is no gap. The shoreline is linked from one side of the inlet to the other and it does not curve back or have two possible cross shore position. In SMS, point can either be nodes or vertices. Nodes are the point ending the arc and vertices are attached to one another forming the arc. If I change this vertex here in a node, then I'll have two arcs. I want one arc, so I'll convert this node back to a vertex. The first and easiest way to import the shoreline in Genkade is with a CST file. The CST file is a simple ASCII file with three line header and two columns with the X and Y coordinate. The points in the file must be in order with one point next to the other geographically as if you were walking along the shoreline. Once you have prepared the CST file, you can import it by drag and dropping the file into the workspace or by going under the file open menu. Note that the data will be placed into this default coverage. I'd like to change the name of the default coverage to initial shorelines for easy access later. Once the file is loaded, right click on the coverage and specify the projection the data is in so that SMS can display it properly. You can make modification to the individual vertices and nodes by selecting the select featured vertex or node tool. Then you can select a vertex and move it or delete it by selecting it and hitting the delete key. Other options are also available when you right click on the vertex. The second method to import shoreline in SMS is by using Esri shapefile. It requires a little more processing time but it is often what it is available. Start by simply dragging or opening the shapefile into the SMS workspace. This is a shoreline of North Carolina. The shapefile will appear in the data tree under the GIS data. The GIS data can only be displayed and cannot be modified. To modify it, you'll need to extract the data and put it into a map coverage. To do that, select the shapefile so that the GIS menu is activated. Then go under the mapping, then select shapes to feature object. Then you will be asked if you want all the shapes and say yes. You'll use the existing coverage and hit next two times, then finished. Uncheck the GIS shapefile to view only the data in the coverage. At this point, you can easily delete the points outside the area of interest. In this case, I will go ahead and delete this shoreline data I don't need with the select feature points and hitting the delete key. Sometimes you'll have shoreline that wrap around an island or inside a bay. You need to delete those as well. The shoreline inside the inlet throat also need to be deleted. Now if you notice, the arc is broken into small segment, so we need to convert the nodes to vertices. Select your points, then go to the Feature Object menu and select Vertices to Node or Node to Vertices. That will transform the data in several arcs often separated at the inlets. The gaps will have to be closed. To do that, select the Create Arc and click on one end of the gap, then the other to close it. Then convert the node into vertices. 
Test the area by selecting the arc. You will need to do this for all the gaps until you have one single arc. This completes the first part of this video tutorial on initial shoreline. Please watch the next video to learn how to pre-process the shoreline. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.